good morning guys from Nairobi, Kenya. It's currently Friday morning, it's like 9.45 in a rush, but we are going to the Nairobi National Park. We have a private tour today for five hours, which is a long time, but I'm looking forward to it. It should be really good. So I booked with Get Your Guide, it was super easy. You could choose between a group or a private tour and you just pick your date, pick the number of people, and then you're on your way. But we'll talk more about Get Your Guide in a sec. And then we're checking into an Airbnb called the A-Frame in Karen later today. I had quite a long flight. I stopped over in Amsterdam. Um, to be fair, it wasn't actually that bad. It was like eight hours after getting to Amsterdam. Got here at like 10 p.m. at night. And then the last two days have just been working away. Got my hair done one of the days. As I said, running late because we need to go meet our tour guide. So let's go. No, 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 no. Yeah. One thing I love about Get Your Guide is that they offer over 60,000 curated experiences in more than 3,600 destinations worldwide. So you can get tickets to top sites and then also one-of-a-kind local tours, which I think is amazing. The experiences are provided by knowledgeable local experts and the app allows you to book and download access to your tickets without any printing. There's also 24-7 support on the app and free cancellation up to 24 hours before. So Get Your Guide is definitely the best place to unlock the world's most unforgettable experiences for travelers. My mum and I both really enjoyed it. Our guide was so great. He knew so much about all the animals and the time flew by. I would not have guessed it was five hours. It felt like an hour max. So I'd highly recommend. Make sure to click the link in the description to check it out for yourself. <laughs> We have made it to the A-frame. Look how stunning this interior design is. My mom is just sitting outside, but I love this table. I really enjoy these bar stools. I feel like I want a space in the kitchen somewhere with some bar stools. Love this little nook over here. I love this lamp. They even gave us some games, which I think is so cute. This sliding door, very barn vibes. It reminds me of like a farmhouse kind of situation. And then up here, look how stunning. The coolest part, if you come over here, is that it overlooks the main living area, which I think is so sick. I love these details, especially this lamp shade. This didn't even properly show you the bathroom, but so cute. I love how you've got the natural light coming through this mirror here. I love these old fashioned taps. I wasn't sure how I felt about them, but they've really grown on. Why am I showing you how to use a tap? The national park was really cool. We saw some animals. I feel like I'm never gonna get tired of um, going to the national park. It's always such a great time. Successful first day. I mean, I've been here two days. Yesterday, we were. I was inside the whole time just working away. And the day before that, um, I actually bought an apartment. I didn't buy the apartment the day before yesterday, but I bought an apartment earlier on in the year. I bought it off plan, so they're building it at the moment. So we went to go see the building site. So yeah, if you know me, well, you actually wouldn't know this. I'm really big into learning about property and investing in property and you know everything to do with that world and I don't really talk about it on the internet but I feel like if that's something people are interested in not that I have any authority to be doing so like it could be cool to like for us to learn together like I am the type of person who's always learning new things I enjoy learning new things similar to how when I was in uni and I just like talk about what I'm learning that week it could be fun to do that
Okay, so we went to the Nairobi National Museum and they had so much here. I was so confused at how they fit everything in this space, but you could learn about everything from art to birds to wildlife, politics and finance, archaeology, even so much about Kenya's image in the media and how they are known for running now. Like there's just so much. I was so impressed. Hi guys, currently in Lamu. It's been a minute. We got up at like 6 a.m. today and um, we've just had lunch at the hotel. The views are just stunning. But yeah, so I've only been in Nairobi. We were only there for like two, three days. Like we stayed at that A-frame place and Nairobi's kind of cold right now. I say kind of cold, it's like 16 degrees. So um, if you're from the UK, it's like a warm summer's day. Yeah, so now we're in Lamu for the next like three, four nights. And then we're gonna go to Kalifi, which is also by the coast. But um, I don't know if I'm gonna get some work done. I might, my mom is trying to take a nap right now. I could listen to an audiobook. Do you know what we should do? I should give you guys my audiobook recommendations. Would that be fun? Maybe later. But yeah, that's about it. To be fair, yesterday we went to the National Museum in Nairobi and my goodness, that's probably one of the best museums I've ever been to. It's so well curated. I learned so much about the history of Kenya, it was just amazing. I'll talk more about that later. But um, yeah, I'm gonna change into my swimwear and we're gonna go relax. Good morning, it is Tuesday morning, 7.35 a.m. Why is it so early and we're awake? I woke up to my mum rustling around in the background with the fan on full blast at like 6.30 a.m. Our sleep schedules are very different because I sleep at like midnight, uh, after midnight, and she, you, what time do you sleep? 10. Yeah. But um, right now we're gonna go to breakfast. The weather is just beautiful. I can't believe it. I was saying this earlier. I feel like Kenya has absolutely everything. I think it's the perfect destination. So yeah, so you can do a safari and then go to the coast, go to the beach for a bit, um, go to the desert, go to the city, experience that. Like there's just so much to do. But yeah, anyway, um, we're gonna go to breakfast now. I'm so hungry. I woke up hungry. Um, but dinner last night was so good. I had chapati, a tuna steak, yeah, it doesn't sound very exciting, but I promise it was so good. I thoroughly enjoyed it. They have a lot of cats here as well. And I thought I was a cat person until yesterday. I'm not a cat person. I think I like kittens, but cats kind of scare me. They look like they have a secret agenda, you know? I, I, I don't know if I'm just misunderstanding them, but let's go to breakfast. <laughs> When you're not near, I don't feel like I do when you're with me 
felt like suddenly Our souls collided, hearts entwined When I decided to make you mine I'm never going like 2 p.m we've had lunch i'm just chilling in the pool it's so nice yeah so we went to the old town and oh my goodness i love the fact that it's a world heritage site and there's so much history there i remember our tour guide saying it's like 75 percent muslim 25 percent christian we saw some old swahili houses and it's actually very interesting back in the day um the women when they were married weren't allowed to leave the house when they weren't with their husbands so if they had a guest at the door they weren't allowed to go to the door unless they knew who the person was so they had plates on the wall like two plates in this little cupboard type of room where they would speak and it would like echo their voice throughout the house and then that's how they would be able to communicate with the person at the front of the door i thought that was super interesting obviously i didn't want to take videos and stuff inside houses for privacy reasons and also they don't have cars so the main form of transport is donkeys and they use donkeys for transporting like goods and all of this stuff and then the ambulance there's only two tuk-tuks if you don't know what tuk-tuk is i'll put a picture up um they use a tuk-tuk as one one of their ambulances and then the other one is for the donkeys so they've got a donkey sanctuary where they look after the sick donkeys i loved learning more about everything i don't know what the plan for the rest of the day is i think it's just to chill yeah but thoroughly enjoyed lamu is made up of four different islands if i am correct and um we want to go down one of the small canal type of things to visit the ancient ruins that they have here that might be that might be tomorrow we might do a sunset ride because we went on a dhow which is like the traditional boats here which was so cool it's completely made out of wood and back in the day this is so interesting back in the day um the wind blows one direction i mean it still is like this today but the boats have adapted but anyway the wind blows in one direction for six months of the year and then the other direction for the other six months so back in the day the boat would go to its destination but it wouldn't be able to come back until six months later when the wind is going in the other direction so often the men who are traveling would marry someone in one location and then marry someone somewhere else because i think they said they could have up to four wives it was just yeah i just learned so much i just love learning about different cultures it's amazing and it's so amazing how this is literally in kenya a place that i thought i already knew so well just goes to show how much variety and culture and difference there is even within countries it's just amazing but yeah I've talked too much. I'm going to chill for a bit. Time to go back to the room, get ready for dinner. Um, I've literally just been sitting here doing, ap okay, I was going to say doing absolutely nothing. I've been editing on my phone, but it's like, it's so relaxing at the same time. Like I love active rest. <laughs> I'm incapable of just sitting here and like doing absolutely nothing. So this is like the perfect, the perfect balance for me. I really want to go back to the same place we went to yesterday. I'm hoping my mom agrees because I can't stop thinking about the dinner I had. Anyway, let's go to dinner. back there but with good reason because the bridge we're walking on is literally made of like I don't even want to think about it actually but um yeah this is the vibe right now I was very scared but I can see the end in sight 
so I'm just gonna keep going. This is literally like the branch of a tree. <laughs> it's okay. It's so fine, you know, it's like it's all part of the adventure. Boat ride was really nice. I actually fell asleep on the boat because it was just rocking like me with any rocking motion equals sleep. Like like I'll fall asleep in the car so easily just because of being rocked. But yeah, anyway, we'll catch up in a bit. I learned so much at the Taqua Ruins. There are only three people who live on the island because they run the museum and they just need to look after it. But apart from that, it's completely empty and there's so much history there. The lady who was giving us a guide said that they go into town twice a month to do their food shop. And other than that, they just stay on the island. Thank you.